You can't treat what you don't see. How can we make cancer so visible that they can't hide anymore? We have to figure out what makes them stand out, although not visible to the naked eyes. We've made major discoveries in identifying a small molecule that can latch onto cancer selectively, emit light uh, in the near infrared, a window the eyes cannot see normally, that allows you to see all types of cancer. It doesn't matter if it's breast, lung, prostate, it latches onto them selectively. And we also developed a new method of visualizing those uh, cancer cells called the cancer goggles. And so with that combination, we can help the surgeons visualize cancer selectively and also be able to remove them completely um, during surgery. And now that we discover that molecule, the question changed. Uh, is it necessary to see before you kill them? What about just destroying them wherever they are? Now we are using the same molecule as an agent to deliver drugs only to cancer cells. Because if you can find the cancer cells, why can't you destroy the cancer cells? Our center actually asked that question. Can we prevent cancer relapse? Can we treat cancer cells that are everywhere in the body, metastasized to different parts of the body, and then be able to uh, eradicate them selectively without harming the healthy tissue? So nanotherapy is a novel technology that will help better uh, target the cancer cell, lead to targeted drug delivery, and doing so hopefully make the treatments more effective and less toxic. We are developing different ways and synergistic approach to treat multiple myeloma. So this allows people to have uh, maintained the quality of life that they've always had before cancer. There are six nanotherapy institutes that have been established in the country, and this is the only one that is dedicated to multiple myeloma. We're, I think, at the point where we can anticipate getting these drugs in the next uh, you know, year or two into patients, uh, and then uh, hopefully uh, in the years to come thereafter, these will be widely adopted uh, for patient therapeutics uh, throughout the country and throughout the world. I've talked to a lot of patients. I've seen the despair, the, the, the worries they go through, um, not knowing how long they will live, if they will be alive until we find solutions to cancer problems. How can we find solutions to change lives? How can we provide a quality of life that's needed after treatment to prevent that uncertainty about where things are? to stop people from living in fear of cancer coming or relapsing. That's what keeps me awake at night. If only I can make little contribution to that, um, it, it will make the world for me to know that I've played a small part in this war against cancer. We go into work every day with the uh, realization that we are doing better and will continue to do better for our patients and hopefully uh, you know, impact not only patients but their families and uh, bring a smile to everybody. My hopes for the future, a world without cancer for sure, uh, put us out of job basically. Uh, we find another job. <laughs>